Today I'll be showing you how to paint watercolour mushrooms. I'm pre-mixing some watercolour paint. I'll be using brown, black, grey, purples and whites. You'll also need a jar of water and some watercolour paper. I'm using some round, medium sized paint brushes and a smaller one for when I add detail later on. I've also got some tissue to dab off any extra paint for my brush. I'm starting off by painting a long half oval, then closing it off at the bottom. I'm going to fill the shape in. I'm not going to let the paint dry out because I'm going to lift some of the paint off by using some tissue and this gives a great texture to the mushroom. For the stem I'm painting out these lines and just filling them in. I'm grabbing a darker shade and adding it to the bottom of the stem and because the paint is still wet this will bleed out. I'm also adding some under the mushroom cap to give it a shadow. Then adding some more paint to the cap of the mushroom. For our next mushroom, I'm adding these long stems. And attaching them together. And making the stem thicker towards the end. top of each stem I'm adding in the caps. They are a round triangle shape and I fill them in as I go along. At the bottom I'm adding a darker brown and adding some roots with the tip of my paintbrush. I'm adding another layer of paint to the caps and under them as well. For the next mushroom I'm starting off by painting a line, then adding the top on. It's almost like a mountain shape and it can be imperfect, so don't worry if you don't get perfect lines. I'm filling in the cap and adding a darker paint to the edges and adding some to the cap by lightly dabbing the paint on and letting it bleed out using a wet on wet technique. If you want to learn more about watercolour techniques, check out my tutorials Watercolour Techniques Part 1 and Part 2. Using a tissue, I'm lifting off some of that paint. Going back in with a thin paintbrush and a darker shade of paint and going around the parts I lifted off. For the stem I'm adding some angled lines then filling it in and adding some darker paint.
Then adding the rest of the stem and filling it in. Then I'm adding some more browns onto the stem and a deeper brown to the bottom. I'm dabbing off my paintbrush to blend that in. The brown is very dark so I'm using some tissue to lift off some of that paint. I'm painting these curved lines at the bottom of the cap. Then for the gills I'm painting these lines and making them messy and adding a darker brown and letting it bleed out. We can go back over this and add some more detail once it's dried. Next I'm going to add two small buttoned mushrooms. So I'm starting off with an oval shape then filling it in. Then adding a darker shade to the bottom and blending it out. I'll do the same on this side too. For the caps, I'm adding a round curved line, then closing it off and filling in the shape with paint. Again, using that wet on wet technique by adding a darker shade and letting it bleed out. And lifting some of the paint off by using a tissue. I really like the way it gives texture to the mushrooms. For our last mushroom, I'm painting this eye shape, then adding the top of the cap on. And again, remember the lines do not need to be perfect and that's the fun with painting mushrooms. They all look so different. Then I'm filling the cap. I'm painting in a thin stem. Adding the gills and blending them slightly and adding a deeper shade and letting it bleed out. Then adding a line to the bottom of the cap. Once they are dried I'm adding some details. So darker shades on the stems and the edges and under the caps of the mushrooms and more lines on the gills. Adding this extra detail really helps give definition to the mushrooms. This is a really fun and quick project to try out and remember you don't have to be perfect with them. Mushrooms have a unique look to them. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.